So I'm going to launch uh, Tower Blocks. This has been uh, downloaded from one of our distribution partners. And what you see first is an uh, in-game portal, uh, and this is the initial in-game portal. So you can either start the game, you can, it's actually a nice CRM solution for our distribution partners. You can also get more games, so this will take you, launch a mobile web browser and actually take you back to um, you know, our distribution partner site. You can also go to their homepage, uh, and you can also view ads. So we store the ads locally, so you can actually see them. Uh, so if you like the ad during the game experience, you can go yeah. back and see them again. Yep, exactly. that's exactly right. And we actually, we track all this, people do click on that. So it's great for us, we get more ad impressions. That's great. <clears throat> so I'll start the game, and immediately what you see, which is you know, very different in most mobile experiences with respect to ads, is that it's a full screen image. Yeah. You know, you really, it's a really strong brand impression for the advertiser, and in this case, uh, here in the US, we're advertising for Super Smash Brothers, which is a Nintendo game. So then if I hit any button, we've tried to make it very intuitive, if I hit any button, then I pull up a menu, in this case, this is a little survey ad. If, you, if I click vote now, it jumps to the mobile web browser and you can fill in a little interactive survey. That's an all, all self-contained ad product that uh, our ad team has come up with. Is the mobile browser like W3C compliant type things so that works on all devices? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, we, we keep the mobile web um, landing page very generic, very simple. So I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me, skip this ad. And then this is a, a second ad for Professor Layton for the, and the Curious Village. Do the ads go away automatically <coughs> over time, or do you have to click on them to, to advance to the game? So that's that's interesting. You know, we actually started the ad format and had the user wait for five seconds. Yeah. But now, what we felt like was a much better consumer experience was they can click on any ad. They don't actually have to wait, but they do have to interact with it. So that that's a balance between a good consumer experience and you know a strong brand impression for the for advertiser. Sure. So I'll skip the ad, second ad. And then I'm into the game. So we wrap full versions of the game. We also just launched the preview channel, which I had shown you, uh, which you had seen uh, as a press release uh, with Vivendi. Awesome. So, and then I'm into the game. It's a full version. This is an awesome, awesome game by Digital Chocolate uh, called Tower Blocks. Super, super addictive. <laughs> So it's very casual. A lot of our games are, are very casual, yeah. and I'm into the game. So then if I exit the game, then you get two more ads at the end. So two and two, basically. Uh, you know, we've actually gone, this has the old ad experience, um, because I downloaded this game a while ago. The new ad experience is three and two. Three and two. Beginning. That's right. And you thought users screen. are OK with that? Yeah, actually, we, we basically saw a 50% increase in ad impressions with very little change in click-through rate. Hmm. And, um, and uh, we also track all the game plays, so also the consumers, it, number of plays is a good proxy for how the consumers enjoy the, the whole experience. For sure. And that didn't go down as, as well. So there's a post-game menu um, that we've also added to the game. Is there like a refer a friend option? Coming. Yeah. Coming soon? Yes, that's and right. make it make it more more of a social experience too. Yeah, exactly. And and you touch on a, a, a very good point. The social experience is, is actually becoming much much more important. So, what you saw as a post, what you see here is a post game menu. Um, there's not much reason for the user to go here to, yeah. the, to the end and see those two ads. What we're planning on putting here, and a lot of our publishers have implemented, is a high score API. Very cool. Where now we can pull out the high score, yeah. they can check high scores here, they can also go post it to the website. And then, and then that's one element to make the content in mobile very, very social. And you can even have um, an API to your Facebook account. So your high scores get posted yes. automatically. That's right. High scores will yeah. be a web service for us. Yeah. So the distribution partner can 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 start using any, it at however they want. That's right. That's very cool. And if I want to get started with my first game, how do I download it to my phone? Where do I? So do? um, you know, we Graystripe runs a consumer-facing portal called Game Jump. So Game you can Jump? Go, through your mobile phone. Yep. You can go to wap.gamejump.com. Okay. Or uh, you can go to any number of our partners. We currently have um, just shy of 50 partners that we're distributing our catalog through as well. Great, you need a mobile-enabled phone? That's right. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, Java. Java-enabled Java. phone. <laughs> I guess they're all mobile-enabled. That's great. Thanks so much for the demo. Thanks, thank you.